looks so adorable. What's up, Sandy? How you doing? I can't even talk to you. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Last Outer Survival. Welcome to the brand new update season four that has just dropped right here and right now. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got this brand new season upon us. And not only is it a season for Last Outer, it's also the holiday season for a lot of us out there. And as you guys are seeing, we already got level one, some sort of a special duct tape and all of this other jazz over here. Really quickly, let's go through the battle pass and show off some of the interesting things that we are seeing. Like, for example, the professional fishing rod we're going to be able to get from the paid side of things over there. We got freaking reindeer and stuff, man. All these Christmas ornaments that, sorry about the burp there, if I'm not mistaken, are going to be coming in handy. Ooh, a snowman in none other than the Christmas event. We're going to be visiting what I think is a Christmas event location where Nick Santi, pretty much the Santa Claus of season four. Ooh, ATV transmissions. It is so beautiful. And whoa, CBRN. I thought that said corn at first. I'm not going to lie. Combat helmet. Oh my god, dude! That is literally the coolest freaking armor I've ever seen in Last Day on Earth. Without further ado, if you boys and girls are excited for Season 4, smash that like button like you ain't never smashed it before because we got a lot of holiday festivities. We gotta go ahead and dive into and hopefully, you know, it might be a little bit early or it might be just on time, doesn't matter. I'm wishing y'all nothing but the greatest of holiday seasons coming up with this up-and-date drop, and I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, we got Nick Santi's house over here. What appears to be a holiday location known as the snow valley definitely gonna be going to give that a look i am sorry rest stop i got priorities right now and unfortunately for you they are not you i also hear that some of these locations are pretty cold so you know me we're gonna be bringing that uh you know swagged out fur armor over there that we uh raided from a gucci store employee over here in the apocalypse yes that's right we just all sorts of raids man one of the base raids we just found freaking fur what can i say <gasps> oh It looks so adorable. What's up, Sandy? How you doing? I can't even talk to you. Okay, cool. What's up, you? I can't talk to you either. There is a fenced-in area over here. Oh, my God. They freaking pulled out all the stops to get this going. They got the freaking, uh, what should we call it? Like, giant semi-truck over here. Wow, dude. Well, I'm guessing we got to go and enter into this building over here. So, bloop. Let's open up the doorway. And I have arrived, Nicholas said. Okay, he doesn't want to talk either. Interesting. Why don't we go ahead and see what we got here? And it's just a couple of Christmas ornaments. I don't really know if we can do much with them, but they're there. I'm guessing we might need a... What is this? What's going on? Oh, dude, what? I can freaking take selfies here? Oh, my God. My freaking post-apocalyptic Instagram game is going to be too strong. And by the way, just quick reminder, if you guys haven't, totally should follow me on Instagram at StarSnipe. Links in the description, as always. Dude, check this out. I can end up with the flex. Oh, you got like all these different emotes over here. Dude, that's freaking awesome. You can come here with like a wide variety of stuff. We got the fire in the fireplace. Well, without further ado, let's hit him with the flex over on this Christmas tree. That's a sad Christmas tree, though. I'm guessing we got to go and get some ornaments for this. I will not save that for now. That is not a photo worth saving. We got to get this Christmas tree decked out. And it appears that there's some sort of a ranking with the Christmas tree, too. So we toss the ornament on there. We get some points. Uh, ornament parts. I don't know exactly what these do. I'm guessing we're going to find that out. Uh, well, there is a workbench here and a workbench there. So what do we do here? We can refine stuff. Protects an ornament from downgrading in case of refined failure. Okay. That is very interesting. Special duct tape is apparently uh, really good. Oh, I wonder if I could use the ornament parts to upgrade that uh, thingy bob over there. Then this is an ornament recycler. So I think the way that it works is that we got to find ornaments throughout season four, and then we can upgrade the ornaments, and then we can also disassemble ornaments that we don't want. So I think it's all part of one giant ecosystem. So let's go and give this a little bit of a quick look and see if this works how I think it works. We put the ornament there and... Hey, Muzzletov! We got a level one ornament that now gives us 120 rank of points. Why don't we go and sauce that onto there? And that appears to be the extent of what we can do over here. However, we do have some brand new holiday locations as well. From what I was reading into them, we can visit them twice a day. I think there are three new ones, and this one that we are seeing over here is one of them. And I think that some of the freaking Christmas bosses have also returned. So our work is freaking cut out for us here boys and girls let's make 
make our way over to the snow valley and i am curious okay so there's also a ranking system of which we're already in the top 75 percent baby you love to see it but uh, there is a ranking system over here and it appears that oh my god i need this what dude this is the most incredible motorcycle skin i've ever seen oh my god well i don't know what it's gonna take to end up at that top five percent but uh i want it 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 oh my god please don't tell me top five percent is gonna be as ridiculous as last season because this is literally the greatest motorcycle skin i've ever seen lol oh my god let me know what you i mean let me know what you boys and girls are thinking about this entire season four but i especially want to hear you guys' thoughts on the chopper <laughs> no but let me know what you boys and girls do think about this so far we're obviously about to be experiencing a big part of it i do think that this is where the cold starts to kick in so i will dress appropriately don't want to freaking catch some sniffles out here nothing like that you know and we got henchmen oh i wonder Ooh, stuff i wonder if this is the event that i think it might be is that uh no that's just a that's just a big boy over there what's up I have a little too much eggnog there, Guzzler. Hey, that's all good, brother. Happens to the best of us. All right. And, ooh, dude, they do drop a lot of these things. But, like, we just, like, okay, we'll be upgrading our ornaments and stuff at home. I'm just worried because, like, by the sounds of it, it seemed like the ornaments can break or stuff like that, which is definitely not a good sign. But, all right, let's continue mowing down these henchmen. You'll love to see the holiday festivities hitting here in last day on Earth. I wonder if, oh, what is this? I see a gear icon. I don't know what it's for, but I am intrigued. How's this doing? Okay. I wonder if it's actually cold enough here to actually cause problems. Who knows? Let's go and dig this up. Looks like a little bit of a stockpile or something like that. Snowballs! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are these weapons? <gasps> Bruh. Are you serious right now? Hold on. Can I get in a freaking snowball fight? Uh, what? Listen, 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 Gus. I'm gonna shoot the slow mo really quickly. You like snowballs? Boop. Oh my god! I like how I can freaking like under toss it just like that too. Hold up. The Guzzler might not be the best person to test this out on. Actually, whatever. Yolo, yolo. Hit with the slow mo over there, and then. What? He doesn't even take damage. Oh come on, man! Don't get me wrong. I know it's a snowball, but you underestimate my snowball throwing abilities game. How about that? Take that for on for size or something. At least it looks like it's pretty easy to find a lot of these Christmas parts, though. That is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from it right off of the bat. And, oh, Christmas punts and golden tape. Dude, these new locations. I am intrigued. Oh, my God. Eight armor. Oh, my God. Oh, they disappear when the holiday is over. Dude, can I not keep my freaking Fergalicious red pants over here? These things are booming. I probably should have put those rubber boots away. Shouldn't I have? Yes, I should have. Hopefully, I don't die in here. And hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself dying by saying hopefully I don't die in here. Let's shout down on a little bit of these beans and stuff like that, though. And let's continue clearing out this zone. But back to what I was saying, I did hear that there are, like, bosses or something. Okay, so it looks like it's really easy to find ornament parts. I did hear that there are, like, bosses that we can take on from the, uh, whatchamacallit, last Christmas. But so far, I'm not seeing them. It doesn't look like this is one of those locations unless freaking zombie Santa Claus is chilling somewhere because that was one of the bosses. Oh, my God. Hold up. Is this festive meat? No, but we'll pretend it is. It's just normal meat. <laughs> but uh, I did hear that in the patch notes as I was reading through them. Pretty much the main things from the patch notes was, oh, I thought there might be like reindeer wandering around for a second. That would have been lit. Those are kind of like the main things that I heard, though. Okay, hold on. Let's try to take out this fast biter here. Hey! Hey, fast biter! Where's your festivities? I see a very big lack of spirit, and I don't appreciate that. And you, floater bloater, you didn't drop anything. Oh, I am disappointed in these lads and lassies. I tell you what. Okay. Well, we just got a couple more fast biters. I'm sorry, Fox. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, this is very odd. There was no holiday festivities for those dudes. I'm a little bit saddened. And, and yeah, it just looks like it's a location kind of just filled with... Oh, a numb zombie? What are you doing in here? I thought you only exist in the northern zones. I don't know. But, ooh, chest. 
Yeah, so it looks like there's a mix of like normal zombies, winter zombies, and Christmas themed zombies at these locations. It is not 100% of any of those categories, but it is a mix of them all. Ideally, I would love to see some more of the Christmas zombies because as we have just established, they're gonna be played a pretty big role here. Shotgun rain! in season four in all of our festivities that will happen through here. Uh, hopefully some more of the locations spawn in and hopefully, oh, what? A 500 health frozen bloat, huh? Do they usually have 500 health? No, I feel like they have 300 health usually. He's got 500? Oh, I'm calling hex on you, bro. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Not cool, frozen bloater. Not cool at all. Well, it's okay. I'll take care of you. Oh, no. I almost ran out of bounds. We got another pile of snow. You'll love to see it. And I just do not want this man to get a hit off on me because I know what he's capable of. He's a freaking vampire, man. A vampire that's... Oh, I was going to say he's not in the festive spirit. Psych! That man is a big Christmas type of fella. Because uh, he just dropped freaking... We pretty much just doubled a hey, snowballs. Oh, can I just keep collecting snowballs from here? Yo, let's go. But uh, no, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, he literally dropped like pretty much exactly like, as much as we had before. We went from like 100 ornament parts to like 200 almost. So not too shabby. So was that like the quote unquote boss of this location? I'm kind of getting boss vibes from him. What's up, dumb zombie? Let's try and take you down before anything too bad happens here. I did bring, as you guys can see, a couple of M16s. I'm not bringing Scars or Kalashnikovs. We need those for Bunker Bravo. Uh, speaking of which, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that, uh, what should we call it? Bunker Bravo, Bunker Alpha, and a bunch of those locations it can drop Christmas parts and or Christmas ornaments as well. So we're probably gonna be trying to visit those moving forward here. Obviously, this is our first chance to check out season four. So I'm really trying to focus up on kind of like the new locations first and foremost. So we're gonna be doing that. But as we kind of get a uh, hang for everything, that uh, will change don't need to worry and we will be checking out some of the other ones trying to show those off but uh oh what's up fox listen that fox is almost dead just trying to put it out of its misery man thank you for the fur uh i have a lot of that but i'll grab it for now in loving memory of francis the fox everyone can we get to hit on that like button in the comment section down below for francis to show us that we love him and care for him Ex i mean like maybe like sorry just shot him with a bullet well i'd listen Francis was asking for it, okay? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in that comment section down below your guys' initial thoughts here on Season 4. Maybe the Battle Pass and what we gotta check out about it. We also do have... Ooh! A little bit of stuff over here. We got Season 4. Oh, hello! I think my game's a little bit glitched for now because it's not letting me buy anything. But, I mean, that should fix itself. This sometimes happens, but... Uh, what should we call? We got ornament parts and special duct tape, both of which can be gotten from here. We got the Bunker Bravo pack, which it says it's limited. I think I'm going to get my hands on this because, wow. Uh, yes, please. I like Kevlar a lot. That, yes, I want it. It does look like there's a freaking season bonus pass or anything like that. But uh, it does just lead us over to premium access for the Christmas season. And, oh, what are the other uh, skins that we can get? Dude, we can get the freaking snowmobile skin. Oh, my buddy Jake would freaking love this. You guys don't know Jake, but... Oh, man. Dude, honestly, if I... I might need to get this and just flex on my buddy Jake. He's got his own snowmobiles and stuff. When he sees us whipping this around, he might have to start playing Last Day on Earth at that rate. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, there's usually two motorcycle skins whenever this stuff happens. And the other one, that's the gingerbread bike, which is also looking absolutely delicious. But, man, I'm not gonna lie. After seeing this... I need the ice cream cart. Like, I, I, boys and girls, we <laughs> we might need to do everything in our power to finish in that top 5%. And I, we still got to figure out exactly how to do that. And I think we're done with this location, by the way, so we'll start dipping out. But uh, I think we might need to do a lot in our power to finish there. Maybe even uh, live streams? Eh? Maybe, maybe. Because, like, oh, I wonder if any season tasks have started yet. Are you a junkyard event? Ooh, I'm a little bit tempted by the fact that it's a junkyard. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we'll head over there while we wait for this location to finish. Because, like, this Snow Valley, it's not, like, I don't know. A new Christmas location hasn't spawned. That's what I should say. So, like, I wonder if, uh, like, this Snow Valley spawns in for an hour. Because you guys saw that at an hour timer. And then once this hour is up, another one spawns in. 
So it said you can visit each of these locations twice a day. We're probably gonna be trying to do exactly that, but it might be kind of poopy the way that it works. I just wanted to run back in here, make sure that, you know, enemies didn't respawn or something like that. But I think that's the way that it works, is that when the timer goes up, a new one will spawn in. Or, I don't know, something else will happen, but we'll take this opportunity to run around a little bit. Let's go to the gas station real quick, too. It's literally on the way to the junkyard. Okay. Yeah, we if we gotta wait for that to despawn, that's gonna take a little bit of a minute, man. We got a minute man? Minute maid? Ooh, I could go for some juice. Give me the juice. But uh, we'll be popping over here into the gas station really quickly. Checking out what these shenanigans are all about. Because with every new season, usually something new happens. So, I don't know exactly. Yeah. Oh. VIP zone. Excuse me. Interesting. Well, they didn't mention anything about this <laughs> in the uh, patch notes. But we got some interesting stuff going on at the gas station, buddy. There is. Hold on. Can I like zoom out? Like, give me, give me a good view. What's, what's going on over there? Oh my god, is that a new type of motorcycle? I think so, man. That's the vibes that I'm getting. But is everything else still here? Otherwise, uh, we still got Lenny over there. I already got that motorcycle though, so unfortunately, come again for new model shirt thing, buddy. Oh, look at it! Look at it, lads. That snow bike, though. This thing's still around. Never want to see that in my life again. And all right. Well, it doesn't look like Lenny has anything new. I think he's actually gonna have that chopper till like January 5th or something like that. Maybe after that's done, he'll have something new. I don't know. But uh, what I do know is uh, anything else new? Oh, oh, oh. No, nothing new spawning in. So yeah, I think the way that this might work is that when that timer's up, then a new one will spawn in. So there's about six hours total of events because I believe that there are three different zones that can spawn in that spawn in twice a day. And back to what I was saying again with that, I think that there are gonna be Christmas bosses we could battle. That first zone was a little bit kind of like, I'm not gonna say lackluster, but it's kind of stuff that we've already experienced a little bit. Well, not really. It's not, it, it wasn't like the bosses of last year, because last year there were three very good by my Raiden, buddy. I should probably put on some real clothes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go and toss these things back on. The boots. I'm just gonna be bootless. Um, I actually did what? Hey, let's do this festive way, baby. Let's toss on these red pantalones and put them to work. Cause I mean, they got eight armor, so that's not too shabby. Like, it's kind of shabby, but not too shabby, you know? It's just, hello, I like weapons. Partially shabby. Anyone got shoes, though? I could definitely go for a fresh pair of those. Otherwise, the red pant wonder has to go and get some work done. And okay, we just got two raiders over this way. Should not be too bad to clear out. Let's make sure they don't die here. Our helmet did break. That's a okay. That's why we brought the extra. I think he hit me. Okay, you're not one of them. I am not. That is why I murdered them brutally in front of your very own eyes, my friend. My reward's in the chest. Woohoo! Yeah, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, let me know what you boys and girls think about the season and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below. Absolutely, would love to hear about that. The battle pass, the freaking ranking system, any and all of that. And, oh, the tasks have begun as well. We got fairy lights. How do I upgrade fairy lights? I don't know. I think that's one of the ornaments we could find. We got to kill 40 weird zombies. I don't even know what that means. We might go and explore a couple of normal zones too and try to come across those. I will get the premium pass, by the way. No need to stress about that. But uh, yeah, let me know in that comment section down below what you boys and girls do and think about this. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one a third of the way into the weekly $25 at your touch place to a gift card giveaway. Oh, you got to Whoa! Let's go! I got shoes! Okay, besides the shoes, we got a freaking car battery out of this thing. Let's see, get it, lads and lassies. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's why I come to this event at all. I also just, it's just a pretty cool event, but that right there is the biggest pull. The fact that a car battery is one of the potential loots that we could get. And uh, it's one of the potential loots that became reality today and the rubber parts and stuff like that. But that's going to be huge. We already have our ATV built up, but uh, even now, this thing still comes in handy for when we adventure the swamps. I wonder if the swamps have anything festive going on. 
like I said, we will explore. We will get to the bottom of this. But uh, yeah, that comment will be putting you one third of the way into the weekly twenty-five dollar entertainment space store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure the like button, make sure you subscribe. That will sure you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and whoa, enter it on every single last day on this video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention. All the other dope survival games, and especially Last Day Honor shenanigans are coming up as well. Especially because, uh, well, season four is upon us, and that means we our work is going to be a little bit cut out for us, buddies. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to get done, and we will be getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot done. But okay, let's go and whoop! Let's try and take down these raiders before we get swarmed by too many of them. And marvelous! They've been dealt with swiftly and promptly with the power of a million suns. And uh, uh, no sunscreen. Yeah, that's how powerful we talking. The enemy didn't have sunscreen. We, oh, we were plastered in that stuff, man. Otherwise, how else could we handle 10 million suns? That's a lot of freaking sunburn. I'm just saying. But all right, let's go and see if there's anything really good out of this event now. We've cleared out all the raiders. We don't got to worry about none of that. None of that. None of that. But uh, what should we call? If we do find anything that we can stack, I'll grab it. Otherwise, I'm not really too interested in too much. Because the main reason I come to the junkyard is exactly the chest that got us this freaking car battery. Because, I mean, car batteries are not easy. Especially because they usually involve going to Bunker Bravo. Which is definitely not easy. But, ooh, I could go for these fur boots, actually. I'll leave you behind. Sorry, mate. Sorry about that line. And, uh... Mm, I don't know. I kind of want to bring these rubber parts home with us but i'm sorry rubber parts not today i have snowballs that are too valuable oh hold on you want to get in the festive spirit here my guy oh baby do i got a surprise for you yeah oh my god he flinched <laughs> eat snowball mother truck oh hold on i missed i missed i missed i missed eat snowball oh yeah could you just, just eat the snowball eat snowball mother truck <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have way too much fun with these snowballs. I hope that I honestly hope that they programmed it So like one of these dudes just decided to fight back and dude I wonder if we get into a snowball fight with the people back at the oh my goodness gracious Yeah, I'm definitely grabbing this but over what? Uh, glug, 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 glug. Let's go and get rid of all that water. Let's grab that dog food. Dude, our, this is our Christmas present from our dang doggo and stuff like that, too. Speaking of which, if you guys don't have anything to say about Season 4 or anything in that comment section down below, although I feel like a lot of us will. Hello, car air filter. Not too shabby of a pull there, either. Uh, although, I, I got a feeling a lot of us will have quite a bit to say because, like, this is definitely a... Uh, I don't know. I, I also, I'm just gonna leave the fur boots behind. I'm sorry, fur boots. I see car air filter. It's a little bit more valuable. I could craft plenty of fur boots. Car air filters, not really craftable. You gotta loot them. And I got a lot of fur back at home still. But let me know, you know, how you guys' holiday season is going. You know, if you guys got any cool Christmas presents you're hoping to get, what you guys wished Santa Claus for. You know, how you guys' Hanukkah, a Kwanzaa, any and all that type of jazz is going. I'd love to hear about that as well. Especially since it is the season of giving and all that. And obviously, as always, we are trying to give back to you guys with uh, the. A weekly giveaway that we'd always try to do and dang man like we literally might need to wait for that to to spawn as something new before we can do anything about it that's a bit of a bummer however okay well first things first i'll check out this red zone we'll see if the zones have changed at all i'm interested about that they definitely could be in a christmas spirit right we'll see if we can find like christmas zombies over there anything like that I will I'm not gonna get into snowball fights with zombies. I'm sorry. I'm saving the snowball fights for uh, my homies. Okay, my home chickens over at Nick Santi's house. Dude, he has, can I, can I have that as my new vehicle? Like, the ATV is nice and all, but dude, give me that dang semi. That would be freaking lit. But yeah, let me know, you know, if you guys got any awesome presents you got for uh, some of your loved ones, anything like that, or, you know, if you think you maybe got a rough idea of what someone else might be getting for you, you know, any and all that type of jazz would be, uh, pretty freaking cool but like i was saying what you guys are wishing for this holiday season uh yeah i'd love to hear about any and all that type of jazz and best of luck in the giveaway as well remember just to leave a comment down below hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed but all right oh my god that guy had a freaking snowman helmet is that one of the uh quote-unquote weird zombies we had to deal with that was a weird zombie well you know what i don't think it's nice to be calling him weird just because he's a zombie with a dang snowball on his head 
I don't think that's fair. But yeah, man, it just feels good to be freaking in the holiday spirits and to have this freaking new season to celebrate it. Although it looks like this season is going to be a very, uh, how does one say, a very passive one. There's not really a lot to go out and specifically do or maybe i don't know maybe i'm just spoiled by season three and everything that that added hello how you doing over there shotgun array let's take out some of those dudes before they even get the chance it's a get up oh what why is there a freaking uh you guys sit down on the minimap a dead green guy why are you green my dude oh my god those are friendly zombies casper the friendly zombie and a turkey no Talk about a bit of a bummer. Oh, speaking of which, hold on, we got these cupcakes. Are these like special at all? Just heal us a little bit. Nice little sneaky snack that we could eat up. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Let's continue mowing through a couple of these zombies. Shotgun rain. And uh, it doesn't look like the normal zombies really drop anything Christmas oriented. It looks like those are mainly going to be through the very obviously Christmas zombies like our snowman friends. Shotgun rain. Uh, like our snowman themed friends. Uh, that's the only one that we found so far. I'm guessing that there might be different versions as well. Like, well, here we still got Snowman Head. What up, Snowman Head? Thank you for the generosity. But there's still got to be like the like the floater bloater version, you know? There's usually a couple of versions of these enemies. We've only come across one of them so far. Yeet. Uh, Let's use plenty of shotgun rain to deal with these uh, toxic abominations and whatnot as well. But yeah, man, I'm a little bit bummed. Although, to be fair, we've probably been spoiled because, well, Season 3 had so much that it added in and Season 4 pales in comparison to that, right? But, uh, I mean, it's still a cool little event to be doing. Ooh, goodbye to your head, brother. But it's still a cool little event to be doing. It's gonna, it's gonna be a very, how does one say, quote-unquote, passive one. I don't know if that's the best way of wording it, but it's not like i don't know there's gonna be a lot to constantly do a little bit of and constantly work towards like decorating your christmas tree getting some prizes from that you know a couple of things like that but it's not gonna be anything like too huge or too crazy but speaking of at least for now man i don't know there are still other events that are waiting to spawn and obviously we might need to check those out next time because like it's just gonna take forever to them to spawn in because if it works the way that i think it does like i'm saying like after this timer's up, a new one will spawn in. And we can visit them twice a day from what I have heard. And I do want to visit the alls of them, but it's going to be very spaced out just due to how things are. But it might be perfect for getting a little bit of streaming done. So let me know what you boys and girls might think about kicking some streams back off as well with uh, what's popping off here. But okay, I'm back to the ranch we go. Mm, I could go for some ranch right now. I don't know if this box of Christmas ornaments like respawns like all the time or whatever. But I am intrigued by that here. I mean, I don't have any ornaments at the moment to recycle, but uh, I'll leave those there. Can I toss these there? Yeah, I'm just going to put all my ornaments. So what is this? That's special tape protects an ornament from downgrading. So I think there's a chance that an ornament gets worse. Like, does it completely reset? Like, I don't like, I don't know. We got a lot of freaking Christmas parts over here. Let's try and find out. So we have a high chance of refining. So we'll continue going through this chance. It takes five every time. And we just level up one at a time. Bow, 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 bow. No! So, I don't think it downgrades. It just doesn't fail. Because I, di I didn't see a downgrade happen. I just saw a failure. You guys can see. Okay, I saw a downgrade happen that time. Oof. Oof. Oh, okay. That's getting a little bit. Oof. A little bit better. So, oof, 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 oof. Really? It says I have a high chance of refining. Why are you doing this to me? It's just going back and forth right now. So, it looks like right around level 15, when that refining chance is kind of teetering on medium, things get sketchy, and that's where the duct tape might come in handy. So, hopefully, we can find a good supply of this stuff. It looks like it's going to be pretty important. We're up to four. That counted. Four hundo points that we can put to use. And, uh, well, you love to see it. Now, however, <laughs> is there anything else that's maybe going to spawn in over here on the map that we could go to? Anything like that? No. Okay, I am curious as well. Okay, our ranking is skyrocketed a little bit. But, like, dude, these rewards, like, these are, like, nothing compared to the Season 3 rewards either, man. Like, besides the freaking ice cream cart and, I guess, the ATV transmission... Like, three car batteries? Three landmines? Like, I don't know, man. You know, for the season of giving of uh, Christmas over here, it's just not a lot to be had. I don't know. Like, even one gas cylinder? 
It just looks like it, it looks like the ranking system has some pretty weak rewards besides the greatest motorcycle skin the world has ever seen. I freaking need that, man. Just like so much, yes. And definitely some of the stuff in this pass as well is gonna be nice. Like I think the snowman, I think like all these Christmas things we're seeing here are pretty much Christmas ornaments, like the reindeer and stuff like that. So we'll be able to get those from, it looks like the free side of the thing. Are there any ornaments on the paid side? No, there's like duct tape and stuff, but no ornaments or anything like that. There is an ATV transmission high up though, which is nice to see. You'll love to see it, huh? Oh, and the corgis are back. Okay, okay. And we got a chance at Korgishus too. Well, well, well. I definitely want that freaking combat helmet. Definitely a lot of things in this battle pass that I do want to go and get my hands on. And definitely some locations that we got to go and explore. Like, uh, I don't know, man. Hopefully, we'll see, like, what the red ticket crate has. I'll see. We might be able to see what the floppy disk has, too. I'm, like, I think that all loot should be augmented with Christmas loot now. So we'll have some of that stuff to be checking out as well. But with that said, with that done, let's go start wrapping it up. For this initial dive into Season 4, showing off what it's about, showing off some of the new locations, and uh, having a relatively jolly good time, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, with that said and with that done, it might be time for us to go and uh, whip up some eggnog or something and really help us get in that festive spirit, you know? But uh, that's going to go to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.